All right then, so we've talked about one data type so far, which is strings. Now I wanna talk about numbers in this tutorial and that encompasses actually two data types. The first type is known as integers and the second type is floats. Now the difference being that integers are whole numbers and floats contain decimals. So for example, I could have a variable called radius and set that equal to 25. That would be an integer, it's a whole number. Now, if I had a different variable, I'm going to call this pi and set it equal to 3.14. That there, my friends, is a float. Sometimes you hear this called a double as well. And it's just because it has a decimal point in it. Okay, so anything with a decimal point is a float. Anything that's a whole number is an integer or an int. So they're two different data types in PHP. Now then, I want to talk a little bit about the different things we can do with these numbers, such as math and different functions. So if we're performing math, we have some basic operators. And those basic operators are for things like dividing, subtracting, multiplying, etc. So to multiply, we do a little asterisk. To divide, we do a forward slash. To add, we do a plus sign. To minus, we do a hyphen. And to find the power of, we do a little carrot. Okay then, so we just wanna make a quick interjection because I just said that this was to find the power of something. It's actually not that symbol in PHP, it's double asterisk. Um, I've been using Google Calculator too often where we do something like this, five, then upper carrot to the power of three to find the power of. So uh, in PHP, we actually use double asterisk. So thanks for pointing that out in the comments, stupid schoolboy error. So now if we use these, we can say something like echo and then pi and times the radius to the power of two, that's the formula for the area of a circle, right? And if we save this and echo this out, then we should see this in the browser, 1,962.5, okay? So slight little error there. But anyway, on with the video. Uh, the second thing I wanted to show you is not really PHP specific, it's more math specific, and it's the order of operation. So you may, you may not have learned this in school, I did, and we refer to it as BIDMAS, so B-I-D-M-A-S. So when we're performing any kind of calculation, then we do it in this order of operation. So first of all, if there's any brackets inside an equation or a calculation, we execute the stuff inside the brackets first of all. Then if there's any indices, which are these things to the power of, that comes second in the calculation. Then if there's any division, that comes third, then any multiplication, fourth, then addition, then subtraction. Okay, so let's do a little example here. If we say echo, and we're gonna echo two times, and then in brackets, four plus nine, and then over three. So in what order would this be executed in? Do we do two times four, then plus nine, then divided by three? Well, no, we don't, because remember, bid mass first comes brackets so we actually perform this calculation first of all so 4 plus 9 which is 13 then the next one along is division so we do 13 over 3 which is something i'm not quite sure and then we times it by 2 at the end which is multiplication okay so that's the last one in the chain in this um, equation so let's save that and view it in a browser and we see this value right here. So that's just a little bit about the order of operation. Again, if you've done maths, then you probably know all about that and I'm wasting your time, but I wanted to put it across just in case you're writing out any kind of equation and you don't get the result that you think you should and you're aware of this now. Okay then, so the next thing I'd like to show you are the increment and decrement operators. So let's do a little comment increments and decrement operators like so and these are a way to either add values to numbers or minus values from numbers. So say, for example, I wanted to add one to this, the radius, then I could say, you know, radius plus one, right? And that would do the trick. However, I can also say radius plus plus, and that does the same thing. This here, this double plus is an increment operator and it just adds one to the radius. So if I echo this now, then it should be the radius 25 added to an extra one, which is 26. So save that, preview, and we get 25, and that's because it's echoing this before it does this operation. Now, if I echo radius again after this, then we should get 26 the second time round. Refresh, 
you get 25, then 26. And that's because now this has completed, okay? So we have the same for minus. I could change this to a minus instead, save that, and we should get 25, then 24, which we do, okay? So that's increment and decrement operators. We just comment those things out. And now I'd like to show you some shorthand operators. Okay, so much like we had this, this is kind of like a shorthand for minus in one. We have shorthands for other things as well. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is make a new variable. and I'm going to call this age and set it equal to 20. Now, say I want to add 10 to the age. Well, I could do this. I could say age is equal to age plus 10, right? And that would update the age. But there's a shorthand for this. I could say age plus equals 10. And that takes the current value of age and adds 10 to it. So this is the shorthand operator for that. So if I now echo the age, save it and refresh, we should see 30. Cool, we do. Okay, so that's a shorthand operator for adding something to a variable. Now, if I wanted to minus instead, then that should be 20 minus 10, and that should be 10 left over, right? So let's view this in a browser. 10, perfect. Um, some other things we can do is multiply. So I could say age and then multiply equals to two, and that takes the current value of age and it multiplies it by two. I'm gonna comment this one out first of all. So we should get that and then times it by two and it should be 40, right? So save that and preview and we get 40. And again, this is just the same as saying age is now equal to age times two. So we're updating, we're overriding the variable, right? It's exactly the same thing. All we're doing is removing this stuff right here and then putting equals after the operator that we want to use. Make sense? Cool. All right, so there's some shorthand operators that we can use. Let's just comment these things out. And finally, what I'd like to do is show you some different functions that we can use with numbers as well. And by the way, I know I'm kind of speeding through this a little bit, but this is the very basics, and we are going to be repeating these a lot as we go through the course and using them in different ways. So this is just to give you the foundation, if you like, okay? So don't worry if you're not picking up absolutely everything or remembering everything. That's not the goal here. It's just to show you how these different things work. So anyway, number functions. Now then, the first thing I'd like to do is a function called floor, and we'll pass in a variable, pi, which we defined up here, remember. So what this floor function does is take in a number or a float and it floors that to the nearest integer. So for example, this would be floored to three because it's 3.14. If it was 7.14, it would be floored to seven, okay? So we should see, if we save this now, three echoed to the browser. So let's try that. Save and preview and we see three, cool. All right then, the next one, I'm going to show you is a function called seal and that does exactly the opposite so echo and then c e i l short for ceiling and then we'll do pi again and what that does is take the value and move it up to the nearest integer so that will become four right it takes it to the ceiling so let's save this again preview in the browser and now we see four awesome okay so one more function i want to show you and this function doesn't actually take a parameter all it does is return a number to us. So I could say echo pi, which is a function, and that actually gets us the value for pi. So not this small value, which we created ourselves, it's actually built into the language, and this function returns us that value. So if I save it now, we should see a longer version of pi right there, okay? Awesome. So that, my friends, is numbers in a nutshell. We have integers, whole numbers, floats, we have the different basic operators, the order of operation, we have the increment and decrement operators, and we have shorthand operators as well, which are these things. And we also have several functions, not just these ones, by the way, loads of different functions that we can use on numbers. And again, we are gonna be using different functions for these and strings as well as we go through the rest of this course. So hopefully that gives you a good grounding now in numbers and strings. So the next data type I'd like to talk about is called arrays. And we'll do that in the next video.